The Fortnite Avatar update 29.20 is about to go live in just a few hours, with us being already in stage 2 of the iceberg approaching the island with Appa and Ang about to break out, which we have to show included within the event pass alongside all the other free rewards on top of all the new mythics upcoming confirming different characters from the show appearing in the item shop, so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today, trust me there's a ton more intel. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the battle pass or anything from the shop you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means Bruh. another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all in case you didn't know the first phase of this event has already begun with Cora the secret skin this season revealed for the first time showing her water bending ability abilities in the chapter 5 season 2 trailer with two pages of rewards fully unlockable right now. Of course all of this was introduced in the 29.10 update or the version that we're currently in before we see 29.20 which you may be wondering when is it rolling around as there's two different dates for the start of this event and also the update. As you can see big data miners or leakers like Sheena BR confirmed the big avatar update 29.20 has just been added to the staging servers and will be released next week. Bearing in mind this was posted on the 4th so of course this new week starting now which many people were just speculating initially would be around April 9th as you can see from FN Assist right here but then got proven by the fact that Neon Knight Season 1 of Rocket Racing meaning this free skin right now the female one that's currently available in Season 0 that's literally been available since the start of Chapter 5 when we got all of these brand new modes introduced including Rocket Racing will be gone forever. Hypex also confirmed April 9th is the 29.20 update day as there was an article updating us on the 6th of March stating the Season 0 tune up quest will now be available until April 9th 2024 at 12am ET as previously Previously, it was meant to end before this date, but this will be the day that the final things about Avatar, the event pass, and all the brand new mythics get leaked, which we've got to show in a second. Kind of like what we saw for the TMNT pass and event last season, with these stages of Shredder counting down, until finally, upon the time of ending, the event pass was there for us to progress through in the free and paid section that we could upgrade for, for just 1,000 V-Bucks. Again, when this rolls around, make sure you've got code FM1 entered. It greatly supports me and the pug, Charlie the Charcoal One, and there's no other people doing it like us out there to show our dedication to the FM1 community with cardboard cutouts and stuff, let's be honest. Perhaps though, just like last season where we saw the event pass updated into the game on update day, 29.10 April 9th to be exact, huh? ticking down until the event starts, which is a different day, which you can physically see now by the in-game news tab on whatever platform you're on, April 12th, 100 years is almost up. And this was initially posted to social media, however then in this post it obviously didn't confirm that April 12th would be the start date of the Avatar Elements events. With Avatar Elements being confirmed to be the name of the event upcoming, here's the current information we have about the Elements Pass. Event Pass for Fortnite X Avatar, obviously, you instantly unlock Ang after purchase for 1000 V-Bucks being the price. There's a free and paid track reward section just like we've seen initially introduced since Chapter 4 Season 2's Find the Force 1 bringing a free and paid section. Skins instantly have normal and Lego variants that they've already made and will be upcoming again for like TMNT where we saw these very cool looking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Lego variants. The event ends on May 3rd and the Appa Glider will be available toward the event's end, kind of like the Bat Bling we saw again in the TMNT event as this bonus kind of reward for everyone. On the image for that post that Sheena put out, of course you can see next to Ang that's confirmed another female character that kind of looks like Korra which is confirmed also to be upcoming to the item shop. How we know this is thanks to Fortnite's official socials on April 5th tweeting out what's in the iceberg wrong answers only and despite many people at first glance thinking this is a cool shot of Appa showing all the different textures and fur sections of him. From slightly moving your eyes down below to the character looking at this, of course for size scale comparison of how big the iceberg actually is. This character from behind does look like Korra in terms of the colour scheme, but is actually Katara being this character. Maybe during this event we do get a free skin as a part of some sort of cup, considering it is going to be a huge event, so it would make sense just like we saw with Midas Presents The Floor Is Lava, where we had the opportunity in a cup to earn the skin for free that we do for one of the Avatar skins if Ang, the main character, is confirmed to be in the event pass. Speaking of Korra that became available in 29.10, everybody seems to be missing or not talking about the fact that one of her cosmetics has literally revealed all the other elemental bending abilities that will be upcoming in mythic form as we already have the waterbender again attached to Korra that we can pick up and use. The cosmetic in mention is no other than the avatar cycle back bling as you can see through all the different elements that will be getting an ability anyways that we're about to mention that got leaked. The symbol for water or Korra already being on here right now. Then we also have the abilities for earth bending, air bending and fire bending which believe it or not exactly got leaked from Sheena March 26th literally at the end of last month. Fortnite is working on three more mythic 
abilities for this season, likely the following, airbending, humble mopping the files, earthbending, annoyed mopping the files, and firebending, fancy mopping the files. As of right now, they have not been leaked, but literally this is such a realistic concept that I managed to find on the internet of what these will look like, of course, considering the Mythic Vakora already got revealed and is in a scroll form with simply her logo on, like we've seen on the Batling once again, so it makes sense for these other abilities to have the logo on and be like different colour coordinated in scroll form. These abilities also confirm the skins attached to them will be coming to Fortnite throughout the item shop or some other form. This one correlating to the Earthbender. The hang, of course, being the last Airbender, if it wasn't obvious, correlating to the Airbending ability itself. And then this other male character correlating or harnessing the power of Firebending, meaning he's upcoming to Fortnite that we can actually get from the item shop or some other form. And literally just now, Fortnite have confirmed those skins coming to the game in the following post with a trailer. Yip, yip, get ready. Avatar The Last Airbender is coming to Fortnite. Katara, Zuko and Toph land in the shop tomorrow and also confirm start warming up your bending technique avatar elements kicks off april 12th at 9am et so let's roll the clip Despite collabs being a huge part of Fortnite now, it seems that collaboration term itself is going both ways, not just pulling things like Invincible from the show into the game, but Fortnite things into the show, such as this scene right here, where as you can see, the Dragon Breath Sniper exotic weapon is being used or held as if he's going to smack someone with it. Fun fact about this posted by Sheena on April 5th, the Fortnite cameo in Invincible season finale was created in official cooperation with Epic Games, Donald Mustard was heavily involved in the process and was really on board to do something in the show that references it, Fortnite. Donald Mustard is now the ex-CCO of Epic Games, so it looks like this was his final gift, easter egg, or goodbye, until I guess more things he posted on social start making sense way in the future from a long time ago, who knows? After all this season, Myths and Mortals, as we go forward now into the mid-season update 29.20, with two more updates after that, 29.30 and .40 before 30.00 Chapter 5 Season 3. This has largely been influenced by the new CCO of Epic Games being Charlie Wen, who, for those that don't know, had massive involvement in God of War, which obviously explains Greek mythology as Titans were actually involved in that, such as Kronos that you have to defeat in the game. And yes, this was the hand of a Titan that initially dropped Pandora's box, causing everything we've seen for Myths and Mortals this season at the end of last, which also could explain why Kratos is coming back to the item shop that initially got leaked with the shop sections being updated. However, now it looks like we have a release date for him. This is not officially confirmed the date I'm about to reveal, which is April 20th, but this is when God of War released in 2018, so it would make sense to commemorate the anniversary of this by, you know, six years onwards making Kratos come back to the item shop with all the cosmetics surrounding him, of course, that came along with his set. Psst, for when this does happen or picking up the Avatar Pass, make sure you've got code FM1 entered, K thanks. When you're watching, sadly, the Lantern Trials will be over so you can't sign up and get these three free rewards on screen right now, which may come to the item shop at some point, but I highly doubt it considering sprays never do especially. Not to worry as there's still other dates to get the ranked umbrella, which comes in all these different variants for whatever rank you actually managed to achieve between Bronze and Unreal, the spectrum in between. On top of these three free reward loading screens, which initially were Season 2 teasers posted to Fortnite Social, starting out with playing six matches to get the Bolt of Light Zeus loading screen, then scoring or earning at least 25 points to win the Chain of Stars Hades teaser loading screen, and then 50 points to get the Constellation Wings loading screen, being of course the teaser for Aphrodite. Thankfully also, on Tuesday, April 9th, once 29.20 goes live, players will finally be able to redeem or have the Battle Stars finally granted to do so, the Titan Flame Hades variant, the final thing we can unlock in the bonus rewards section, or the hardest to get super style for reaching level 200. This was confirmed April 3rd from Sheena, the Titan Flame Hades skin will be unlockable for all players who reach level 200 starting next Tuesday. Currently reaching level 200 does not grant you enough Battle Stars to claim the skin, which of course is just a glitch, which they haven't hotfixed before this downtime update goes live. Even though the Avatar event hasn't started yet, what's happening upon its end that's already been determined to be May 3rd that no one is talking about is of course a brand new Star Wars event with tons of different item shop skins returning which already have Lego forms for May the 4th being Star Wars days it's a play on words for May the Force be with you, May the 4th be with you. This could mean the blasters of course return attached to the stormtroopers or Imperials and then even lightsabers. Personally if they do lightsabers I'd love to see the portal system that we saw in Chapter 4 Season 2 instead of just getting them out of a different type of chest. Again what a combination of these two things flying around Fortnite Battle Royale that no one could have predicted from this moment.
moment six years ago when Fortnite initially started and Battle Royale was actually only a side quest from Save the World that they were developing. Either way, drop a like if you're hyped for this event and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any immediate leaks as soon as April 9th rolls around. Don't forget to enter code FM1 literally right now for when also the event pass releases. But speaking of other videos, click either of these two YouTube's recommended you on screen whilst you wait for the very next one I do publish on the channel.